Hey guys, welcome back. I just want to do a quick mobile video. This is probably the sixth or seventh one of these vehicles I've had in the last month. Um, customer complaint on this 2013 GMC Sierra is hard start cold. Sometimes it won't start. Sometimes it runs real bad. And he said it was setting a fuel mixture code. I have not scanned it yet, but I have a feeling I know what it is already. It was not cold when he brought it in or not completely. Um, he decided to start it up out front, even though he left it last night. He came in early and started it up just to see what, if it would act up. So when I started it, it started up just fine. So we have Rich running bank one and two. Now this is a flex fuel vehicle, according to the VIN. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go into data display. We are going to say fuel data. Let's go under engine data. We want to look at the fuel composition or the alcohol, alcohol content. I mean, already it's trying to take away 25% fuel on the long term. Um, I don't have it running, so the short term is not registering. Fuel alcohol content, 53%. Now, every single one of these I've had here in Colorado has been somewhere between 42 and 62% alcohol, whenever they act up like this. Um, it could be just the way that they're filling up the vehicle. Maybe they're topping it off. Uh, maybe they're doing short trips. It's not learning it properly. Uh, I know that this guy was running additives, but I did pull a fuel sample. The fuel alcohol content in the fuel is about 10%. So let me start it up. See if the short term starts going negative. Now we will have to wait for the O2s to, to start switching. I do feel it running a little bit rough. Let me uh let me get rid of some of these data pids that we don't need. Now I'm used to hitting the no button to select this and I always do it, but there's a green button that came out in 19.4 to select your custom data pid list. So the O2s are starting to switch, kind of slow still. And short term's not too bad. It's uh, staying pretty close to zero, long term still at negative 25. What I'm going to do is reset the, uh, the fuel composition. So I'm going to shut it off, turn it back on. We're going to exit out of the data list. Now there's several scan tools that can do this. Um, I generally just grab my snap on. I'm going to go to functional test, scroll down here, output controls. And we're going to want to reset two different things. We're going to want to go to the fuel composition reset. That's going to reset our alcohol content back to the default, which I believe is 3%. So it brings you to this screen. Um, I'm already selected on the reset. I'm going to hit yes again. Yes again. Reset completed successfully. Hit no. And then I'm going to want to reset the fuel trims because we don't want it to pull away 25% fuel once that composition is reset. We want it to relearn the proper fuel trims on the next drive cycle. Reset that as well. Let's go back to my data list. Um, one thing I like about the 19.4 update is it does save that custom data list for most vehicles, um, at least while you're still connected. So I don't have to re-enter all those data PIDs. Maybe, unless it froze up. We just want to confirm the fuel trims are back to zero, which they are. Alcohol content is at three. Let's start it up. Wait for those O2s to start switching. I should have added uh, 
the loop head, see if we're in closed loop. But they shouldn't take too long to, to start switching. Yeah, it's already adjusting my fuel trim slightly. And keep in mind, this vehicle is still very cold. Well, I guess it's starting to warm up. We're at 132. We're in closed loop. O2s are starting to switch. And see what our fuel trims are at. So we're at negative 10 long term. I would say that's okay for right now. I'm sure this will get better as it warms up and as we go through a drive cycle. But that's it. Um, there is a TSB for this with a software update. Half of the ones I've had recently had the updated software and they were still having an error in the fuel composition. What this does is it calculates based off the fuel trims after a fill up, whether or not you put ethanol fuel in. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. See you guys next time.